What's up, Exit? It is Pastor Josh here. I know some of you may have just seen me uh, a few minutes ago, but I actually had to leave. I and my smoking hot wife are heading over to the Seattle area because I have a test tomorrow. A very big, important test tomorrow that I have to take. So that's why I'm not there. Um, And I want to let you guys know about uh, a couple things that uh, actually directly impact you. This last Sunday, um, I was voted in um, at our church um, to be the next lead pastor of Spokane First Assembly. And we are entering a time of uh, transition Um, where I am going to be, um, over the next several months, stepping into the lead pastor role. And Pastor Randy, our current lead pastor, is going to be stepping out into an associate role. So, there's good news and bad news. Good news is, is I'm still going to be around. I'm still going to see you guys. I'm still going to, you know, dominate most of you uh, in all things and everything, um, especially you schnabes in NHL. Every time, I beat you. Every time. Um, But the bad news is, is I am no longer uh, going to be the youth pastor at the exit. So, uh, what that means for us is that we have begun an exhaustive search, expansive search, to find the best youth pastor on the planet And uh, we have narrowed it down to five solid, solid candidates. And uh, just wanted to take a a quick moment and just briefly introduce to you um, these five, what I think are awesome guys. And we are going to kind of whittle it down, narrow it down, if you will, uh, to one great ultimate master of the universe youth pastor. Um, so quickly, uh, here's here's some of the guys that are our finalists. Mr. Stanley McGillicuddy comes to us from the beautiful state of Montana. He's been in ministry for nearly six months and believes the key to a long-lasting happy life is to stare directly into the sun as long as you possibly can and to never, ever, Floss your teeth. Nice. I mean, he sounds, looks, acts like a winner. Uh, here's here's uh, there, here's this young man, Mr. Greg Smirkle. He hails from the beautiful, luscious state of Maine, and in his resume, he said that the secret to his strength and power are found in his beautiful beard, and insane hair. (laughs) He's actually a distant relative of mine, and, uh, you know, we have spent a lot of of time together. I know his heart. He's a good guy. Uh, And then we have our our third candidate, uh, this individual right here, this young man. Ah, Mr. Mitch One-Eye Jones. Mitch is a veteran to youth ministry and loves to have fun. And one of his greatest skills is that he has the ability to eat his own nose. I mean, what words, what words do I have that, wow, it's amazing. And then we have our fourth uh, candidate, this, uh, this guy right here. Mr. Gerald Yorkshireton is fresh out of college and ready to jump into youth ministry with both feet. And then our last candidate, and, uh, you know, to be totally honest with you, um, you know, of the five, he is probably a distant, distant fifth. Um, You know, between you and me, I don't really think he has what it takes. You know, I've seen him. I've been with him you know, the last few years, and, uh, you know, he cries too much, has a fear of commitment, 
Um, right? Right? I mean, come on. Um, you know, he just... Uh, we're looking for somebody who has the, the it factor. You know, the indescribable quality that makes someone a star. And these other four candidates definitely have it. Uh, but this fifth one, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm even, I, I don't even know why I'm presenting him to you, but you know, we're going to present him to you. So, you know, here's, here's our fifth candidate. Mr. Blake David Andrews has interned here at Spokane First for the last two years. He is a gifted young man, has impeccable character, and an amazing mind for ministry. He has a passion to see students fall deeply in love with Jesus. So there you have it. There's the five guys that we're looking at. We will be bringing an announcement to you very soon about who the next youth pastor at the exit will be. Um, but trust me when I say this. It, he will be. He will be the greatest youth pastor ever. Ever. On the earth, in the planet in the universe, on the planet, in the skies. He will be that for you. So look forward to that announcement, and hope you guys have a great night. Amber and I love you guys, and it has been an absolute honor uh, to serve you over the last three years. So we'll see you later.